Nine-year-old Akosuya Adoma Ousu is the leader of the Diasu District Child Parliament in the Central Region. She is confident and very eloquent. In her open-air chamber of parliament, she addresses very critical issues, issues that affect her and children within the district. And when she leaves her chamber and returns to her school, the St. Mary's RC Basic School, that confidence evaporates. In school or our school, when you come in the morning, you see the goat's feces on the compound in our classroom. It is not good, grass. We don't have a wall. The KG, our natural KG, it is um, the one we use it to build our house, moving sheets. We have not plastered it. We have not done it anything. Indeed, she is the best student here. If Akosia is this confident in this environment, then you can imagine how she would fare in a much better resourced basic school. Now, this is in Mary's RC Basic School, the school of brilliant nine-year-old Akosia. As you can see, the structure is uncompleted. They have no doors or windows. This roofing sheet is what blocks the classroom, but that is not enough to prevent goods from entering into the classroom. And already the stench here is very, very nauseating. And I cannot imagine how children can, can stay in this classroom and concentrate on their studies. Uh, you can see the wiring all over the place. And Akosia eloquently uh, tells us how this has been affecting the academic work. Sometimes you can hurt. Then when you are opening it to the stick can hit your leg. The school, our windows, when the rain, when it rains, the rain come in, and sometimes we have to close and go home. Our bus even gets worse when it rains. If it is Saturday, then we go for vacations. When we come on Monday, when it rains on Sunday, when we come on Monday, the rain have come in our class and you you have to weep here if sweep here and the goats spread their feces in it sometimes the children come and write on our board the teachers though dedicated are equally demoralized by the very place they are expected to impact knowledge and raise the country's future leaders isaac ejekum asamwa is the head teacher animals are disturbing are defecating in our classrooms every day we need to wash and allow it to dry for some period of time before the children can go to class and learn. And, and because of that, some of the teachers, when they come here after some years and look at the situation, then they leave the school. So sometimes we are lacking teachers, and sometimes to, you come to school and you are not happy because what you come and meet in the school. Sometimes the frustration reaches unbearable levels. But instead of quitting like some have done in the past, they go extra lengths to help alleviate their plight. That even includes building the structure to house kindergarten children. At the point in time, we were lacking desks, so I have to send my teachers to a forest to go and look for a board so that we will come and make desks so that the children will have uh, access to desks so that they will be able to learn and learn comfortably. This, my teacher, Samuel Jenfi, is a full-time mason, I will say that. And this man, in terms of wiring too, she's, he's good at that. So they did? They did, the, yes, they did uh, for us. Because we don't have money to go and hire an electrician to come and do it for us. Teacher in charge tells me there are over 90 pupils who occupy the structure. However, when it rains, the school must close. You could turn ninety six. Na a dying ye nibi, ye near cunya, until ye buy ye decate, and ye desse a demo. And to sense your talk and your dream, ye and sure ye fain fain, since your turn a pa, obeba, nam de book tea, with the assistance, Dana, I am my dis you shall go. I am saying, sure, no bope, no racket, and I say, now, and Corano, I shall say also. So, with no doors, no windows, inadequate furniture, and just one computer, which even e waste scavengers would reject. Akosia sends out her message to the president. Mr. President, 
please, I want you to help us build our school. We have not plastered it. We have not done it anything. World Vision have, we went for a program, and World Vision have come and built a toilet for us. So, Mr. President, I want you also help and build my school or our school for us. And roads. Thank you, Mr. President. The district director of education who is frustrated with the problems of the district is also appealing for support. In, indeed, we have serious problem with our structures. So there's a lot. I want to use this opportunity to appeal to other organizations. We've seen them building for other districts, particularly those in Accra, Takra, in big towns. But they forget that the, the resources that we use in paying whatever debt Ghana owes come from these areas. Until these challenges are addressed, inequalities in the education sector will continue to widen. Anastimenu for Joy News.